arrival in South Texas, the most reliable for the last 22 years, the San Antonio Spurs appearance in the playoffs. Goner Duncan, Ginobili, and the point guard who came to Texas, a 19-year-old Tony Parker. And certain things have changed since that rookie from Paris gave a rookie reporter her first interview. And certain things have not. We caught up with the old guard and his well-aged coach to find out how the Spurs keep doing what they do. Dude, I can't believe you did this. You've been great through all these years, so you deserve for us to do what you tell us to do. Okay, well, and that being said, I need Western Conference Finals, <laughs> then Finals. <laughs> Talk to Derek. Every year I watch the draft, and we pick people that I've never heard of. Yeah, sitting there in a... in men... Who did we just pick? I was like, oh, yeah, he's, he's gonna be great, he's this, he's... Oh, okay, Bob, whatever. We have to start reaction when he said it. It's real. It's real for him. More often than not, we were going to be drafting towards the end of the draft. We try to bring guys in that we think will fit as far as understanding the culture. People that pretty much got a good chance or already have gotten over themselves. If we can find guys that have that kind of a personality and that the team is paramount over self, then that's a good start. From Manu Ginobili with the 57th pick, Tony Parker at 28, to a draft night trade for Kawhi Leonard. The Spurs have found champions where others weren't looking. I think, first of all, Pop was curious about the international scene, and he liked what that diversity of, of culture brought to our program. RC is the one who find me, you know? People talk about Pop, but Pop didn't want to even look at my tapes at <laughs> first. And I didn't help because my first workout, I was terrible, so then Pop didn't want to hear about me. How did you come back and, and decide, all right, let's give this kid another shot? I've got to give the credit to RC uh, because he begged me, no, Pop, no, no I, that was bad. I, I agree, that was bad. we got to do it again. So we said, okay, if we're going to do the second practice, we're going to do it my way. So we brought in a couple of guys, bigger, stronger, older than Tony, and he did a hell of a job. He proved something to me and showed me that he had some drive, some competitiveness, some grit, and it all happened there. And when he walked out of the gym, Pop said, you know, this guy will be gone a long time before us, but if we can get him here, he'll start 10 games into his rookie year. And he actually started five games into his rookie Overachieved. year. Overachieved. So. <laughs> yeah, so. And with the 29th pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the San Antonio Spurs select Derek White from the University oh, of Colorado. The latest Spurs hidden gem? Derek White, the former Division II afterthought who emerged as the Spurs' starting point guard after an injury to DeJounte Murray. Out of high school, I wasn't really recruited at all. My dad was sending out highlight tapes to all these D2 schools around Colorado, and nobody was really interested. So I went to UCCS from basically a preferred walk-on. Went from red shirt to starter three years there, and I was like, I got to challenge myself, and took a risk and ended up transferring to Colorado. Derek White is absolutely fearless. Derek White, when did you say, okay, yep, we'll take it, this will work? That's a tough one, because I don't think I ever said that. I never even saw him, never knew he existed in the world. Didn't know he was on the planet. So I'm busy, I got other stuff to do, I can't watch it. I, I mean, I get it. I don't know who these guys are. <laughs> I'm, I'm at dinner, <laughs> I'm ordering wine. I'm at dinner. I'm relaxing. They got to find the talent, right? I got to teach back door and I got to find the talent. It's Arcee's job. Exactly, and he does it very well. One, two, three. I mean, you just want to make the NBA. I think that's like a dream come true. And then, wow, I'm going to be in San Antonio playing for uh, Coach Pop and all this. Derek White turns the corner. He came. And then, you know, he's in the D-League, and we watch him develop. And so as time goes on, you see uh, all of a sudden little things like, hey, this kid can pass. Hey, this guy goes by people. This guy makes good decisions. His shot is getting better. And so over time, that's, you know, what happened. This summer, they had a plan from the beginning, and just following that plan, just trying to stay ready. And uh, I mean, unfortunately, what happened to Jante, and I feel like I was ready to go. Derek White. It starts with Pop, and it's all about the details, I'll say. They always do a good job of getting good guys who care 
and they want to be team first and all that kind of stuff that we all kind of similar the way we think about basketball. Take a quick look at Medela Gold Standard stats. Spurs have spent only 65 days with a losing record since Pop's first full season in 97-98. No other team has even come close to that type wow. of consistency. They find gems where no gems are supposed to be had, and if they don't start a dating service soon, I really feel like they're missing out on a really good <laughs> opportunity because they're better at it than we are. Um, or you can get the Kardashian-Jenners. They have a good scouting department. No, 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 that's a jinx thing. Um, it's Spurs.